A couple from Colorado is on a mission to redefine how we think about the marriage model. They say thinking of a partnership as 50-50 can create conflict. Nate and Kaylee Kemp wrote the new book, The 80-80 Marriage, a new model for a happier, stronger relationship. And they're joining us this morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so interested to see how this works. So if 50-50 creates conflict, how does 80-80 work? 80-80 is different because rather than in 50-50 where it feels like everything is a competition to see if it's fair and you end up keeping score. Hey, I took out the trash. It's your turn to do the dishes. Instead, in 80-80, it's about a mindset of radical generosity. How can I contribute and appreciate so it feels like we're in a relationship of kindness, thoughtfulness, and connection? It's also a structure. So instead of competing to see who's more important, you win together. Yeah, but if you keep scoring 50-50, don't you keep scoring 80-80? <laughs> That's actually a great question. Uh, in 50-50, the whole structure is based around keeping score, and that leads to all sorts of resentment and conflict. The idea of 80-80 is to drop that scorekeeping. And I know that sounds crazy. It's not always possible, but if we can at least catch ourselves in the act of keeping score, and shift to this idea of radical generosity. Mm -hmm. So trying to do 80% instead of 50%, then all of a sudden the tension and conflict from scorekeeping can start to fall away. Okay, and I imagine it's somewhere along the way you get into a situation where you, are you able to sustain this the entire time? I mean, don't, don't you get like tired of, <laughs> of being <laughs> nice to each other all the time? <laughs> Yes, because this is a practice. This yeah. is not a one and done. It is totally normal to have a thought about, wait a second, that's not fair, come up into your mind. And yet we like to think that it can be pretty easy. Mm -hmm. That if you start with doing one kind thing, mm -hmm. it's much more likely that your partner will do something kind to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And if you start to appreciate your partner, that also gets contagious. So it doesn't have to be hard, but it is normal to mm -hmm. struggle and then remember to come back. Now, how do kids factor into this? I know you guys have a daughter. So when you have children, they always change the d dynamic of your relationship. So how do they f factor into this? Yeah, well, it's interesting. We had a lot of couples read this book before they had kids and they would say, you know, I don't really get it. And then they would have a kid and be like, oh my gosh, now I get it. And I think the reason for that is that the moment you have a child, everything becomes scarce. Free time becomes scarce. Money can become scarce. But it also just becomes much more difficult to navigate things around the house because instead of having like 10 things you had to do together, mm -hmm. now you have 200 things. So it just gets much more complicated. And that's where I think the need for something like this shift to 8080 becomes more intense once you have children. We also have found that if you're able to practice this as a couple, it does get contagious for your kid. So that if they see you doing something kind or contributing, they'll want to imitate that. And so you can actually increase the amount of generosity that's in your whole family. Okay, so obviously, if you want to embark on this, this is something that both of you all need to, to agree to. It's not like you can say, oh, let me just start doing this and then maybe my spouse will actually go along. You, it's certainly easier if both people, for instance, read the book and are on the same page, but we've actually found you can kind of stealth introduce 8080 to your relationship. And it's really about changing the mindset about how you do the things that you do. It might be that you're still folding that basket of laundry, but if your mindset is that of resentment where it's like, oh man, I'm gonna make so many dirty clothes for you next time, it feels really different from this is a gift. It's a gift to us, it's a gift to myself. If you can frame the same things that you're doing more as a contribution rather than as scorekeeping, you can start the trajectory. All right, well, it's an interesting concept. I, I yeah. It's an interesting concept, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this, this morning. The 8080 Marriage is available now. You can find more on the book at 8080marriage.com. You can also find more on Nate and Kaylee's website, nateclimp.com and kayleeclimp.com. Thanks for joining us this morning, guys.